Hey guys, welcome to Goose Gaming. Today we are playing World of Warships Legends. This game is literally World of Warships for the Xbox. And it's just kind of a streamlined version of World of Warships. So today I'm playing in the Lyon, a tier six French battleship. It has the most guns per broadside. It has 16 guns on a broadside, which is terrifying. But it's, it has very low caliber guns. So low caliber and low shell size guns. So it only penetrates really. And the HE is really good in this thing too. So you'll see that the HE does lots of damage once I start getting into big fights. So I am spawned on the right side with a Sharnhorst and a Leander. And we make quite the team. A Sharnhorst backs me up multiple times. And the Leander takes out destroyers and does his job. First cruiser I've seen in a while actually doing their job and not sitting at the back of the map firing HG across the map. But whatever, that's my that's my opinion. Cruiser players, thank you for playing your cruiser because I hate battleship and destroyer games there. Kinda of boring. So I move up to the right side. Knowing that this is land of fire so it's fairly easy to play i find just as long as you don't charge in headlong and die but i noticed that i'm spotted immediately that means we have a destroyer on our side who is spotting me through all these islands this these destroyers spot for things like fire starters which there is one on this side and other ships that will be hiding behind islands so but then I look over and I see a Dallas. If you see a Dallas or anything in the fire structure, try to take it out immediately. There's 16 guns on that. I aimed a little bit too far ahead and too far down because my shells are so short. And as you can see, this Dallas is just punishing me multiple times with his HE. If you let this go on for too long, it can really hurt. Lander gets a good chunk off of him. My guns are almost reloaded and you can only play with RNG for so long. This next salvo puts him out of his misery here. One citadel, six overpinch, one actual penetration, 16,720 damage. That's a lot of damage. And for a light cruiser to be taken. And the strong horse finishes on off. So then a gate gets spotted over here. He was firing from behind the island, trying to shoot me. Set me on fire, but this Leander, he picked the wrong fight. Leander may only be able to shoot AP, but that AP does not penetrate far, so it will really hurt the Leander destroyer. And as you can see, he just gets all of his health taken away. So that leaves a bear, because he's dead. Yeah, as you can see in the kill feed, he's dead. And so then we move on to the bear. This bear now alone, and he makes a logical decision to run because the if you're outnumbered three to one, you're going to run nine times out of ten. So then disappears because the islands are kind of annoying. But I load high explosive because Bayer has turbo black armor, so it's super hard to penetrate it if it's angling at all to you. You need a flat broadside, especially with these guns, in order to get good damage. So if I out the HE salvo, these shells do a lot of damage per hit too. Just nice. Immediately set a fire and do 3,000 damage. He makes the worst mistake possible, putting out one fire, especially against something like a Leon or a King George or something like that where it has a super high fire chance and it's firing HE at you, you do not put out one fire. All that's going to happen is going to set up fire 50 more times. Next shot out. And watch what happens here. Two fires are now burning. So that's going to take twice as much health from him, which is going to effectively put him out of the fight. He is going to disappear after I get the this next salvo off, and he's not going to be a part of this battle. There is another big that hampers me later in the match, but it's fine. Let's reload. 
and launch it just into the dark because he likes to disappear on this island here. King George the Port, along with the Nuremberg, so I start angling towards them. And notice his guns start to look at me. It's gonna start to tra traverse my way, so I just go and slam on the brakes here. And I notice that he's actually looking at me because those are 15 inch guns and I don't exactly have the best gun that I So next shot out. Not very much damage, but he disappears soon after. Yeah, and once he disappears, you don't notice him for the rest of the match. So, guns almost reloaded. All four of them go off. I switch to Ichi in case he wants to stay spotted, because last level I did not do that much damage. And there's about 10,000 damage, no citadels. That's, that's the beauty of the French battleships. The Normandy is amazing for it. The Normandy tears apart barons. What? It was one of my favorite ships. No, this is my favorite ship. But yeah, it, these quad turrets are something else. So as you can see, he disappears because he's running to the edge of the map. And he's not going to contribute to his team anymore. He may as well have just died. So. We move towards the center where all the action is. Arguably, you could have said we should have chased the bear, but that would have put us out of the match too. So if he chooses to run, let him run. Unless he is one of the last people on the team, let him. Here, I just steal the kill, because why not? This King George, I had to get mine. I pulled himself out and look at that three fire set in one salvo. So if he had been full health and he already used his damage control, he would have burned to the ground. And I probably would have gotten an arsonist uh, with it. So this is one of those games where you don't notice that you're doing a ton of damage, but you are. I'm already at about 60,000 damage. We're halfway through the match. And that's really good. You want to have these big games where you, get lot, where you get lots of damage, but more importantly, you actually help your team. Right here, I'm drawing the fire of the banner. The Leander kills the Nurburg, which this Leander is amazing on my team. I knock out a gun temporarily on Bayern, and then the next one goes in and just barely skims him. So now I switch to AG because I'm not doing a lot of damage with AP. That's the thing with the French battleships too. You have to be able to switch from HE to AP fairly regularly because if you don't, you will be in a lot of trouble. Because this Bayern, if he angles at all, I'm not going to do any damage. All my shells are going to shatter or all my shells are going to bounce. And make it one or two pens and over pens. So I fire out here at the Nelson, which is arguably the best fire starter in the game. And but the ugliest ship in the game, in my opinion, uh, fires back at me and immediately sets a fire. The most annoying thing in the world is fire, because and especially when you run into it, man, that's the worst. But yeah, now he looks over at Leander and finishes him off. So now we're without a cruiser, and it's three battleships, one of which is still in our base for some reason. I hate when people do this when they just sit at the back and do nothing. I set a fire on with Nelson. He set the fire on me. But why wouldn't he? It's Nelson. And Bangroom is coming around the island. I don't necessarily notice all too much because I'm fighting Nelson. I'm kind of scared. And something touches me with large caliber guns. And it's a battleship sitting behind the island. But I can't see him. I'm kind of glad I don't seem to be in tunnel vision the Nelson here. Because I kind of have to. Because this thing is dead. I notice that he's going broadside. I see torpedoes from Hilda Terrible. Kind of is terrible, it doesn't have smoke. But anyway, he goes broadside and loot EP. Knowing that the Nelson has really bad broadside on 
So, fire, get a solid hit on that, but he gets an even better hit on me. Now I'm up to 100,000 damage. I notice this and realize I'm going to die, and the video ends immediately after I die. Sorry for my dog barking. I don't even know why. I think the garbage truck went by. Garbage truck. Uh, fire up the next salvo at him, get the high caliber metal, and die. We need to put pedos and bear and everything like that. Our team just decided did not want to live. But that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.